Today I'm going to make a heavy duty stringer for large fish. I'm just using regular inexpensive galvanized chain. You need compression spring. These are one half inch by an inch and a half. And I'm using 332nd stainless steel filler wire for TIG welding. The welding rods have a little flat space on them with some identification. But I cut that off. Four feet of light duty dog chain. And you can make that any length you want. Leaving about six inches of tag end. I made a loop about six inches back. It kind of has a wide gap. Kind of has a wide gap. So I squeeze that together just a little bit to make it twist better. And I put this in my vise. Where these are at 45 degrees. It's not super important for this application, but makes it nice and straighter. I put a screwdriver in there, give it about two or three twists. Don't need very much. Put about two or three twists on there. And that chain is very secure. Now on the tag end, the short end, I'm going to bend that to where this spring stays on there. This 330 seconds TIG wire is pretty robust. So I use the vise to kind of help me squish it down. I'm just bent a U and see I've bent that over a little bit. I'm going back to the vise. Now, if your little nub is not cooperating, I doubt if you can see it, but I'm actually going to ping that over with a hammer because. 330 second stuff. It's a little bit hard to work with. So this is what I've got now. See how that's twisted? That spring is not coming off. I've been the long end out just a little bit more to kind of give me a more of a throat. I guess you would call it a throat. So let's say we go about four inches on this one and once again I'm going to use my vise to squeeze this loop down now this loop has to be squeezed down pretty small it has to be able to go up inside the spring and see I bent this some more so it's parallel and this is just the right size go up in there And hook over that and see that fish is not coming off and then I got to do is feed that back through there and when you want to take it off You just feed this right back through that spring. It's a little bit tricky getting it off, but I don't mind that because it makes it 
much less likely that the fish is going to come off. Okay, so that's one. And I'm going to make six. All the way up the four foot length of chain. I fish a river below the dam of a flood control lake. So the water level varies wildly. So what I'll do, I'll get a piece of paracord or nylon rope. Something I'm not worried about rotten. And I'll tie it right here. And I may have 30 or 40 feet of rope on it and keep it on a spool. And that way when the river is low, I can still reach up to the bank and tie it around a tree knot, tree root. Or I can tie it around my fishing chair, but I'll have plenty of room. And then, of course, if I'm in my boat, I'll just hang it over the edge. Tie it off to my boat and hang it over the edge. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Heavy duty stringer for extra large fish. I made one with six because that's what the bag limit on walleye is in Indiana and Kentucky. I'm going to make another one of these stringers and give it away when I hit 250 subscribers. So hit the like button to help somebody else find this video so they can make their own stringer. Or hit the subscribe button so you know when I post the giveaway video. Thanks for watching.